Welcome back. Good Friday morning, everybody. I hope you all are having an awesome day. I hope you start your day right and you're ready for the Easter weekend. This morning, I want to make some buns. I wouldn't say hot cross buns, I would just say buns. And the twist would be the glaze that I'm going to use. I am going to use some shredded coconut that I have. And I'm going to use that shredded coconut and make a spice shredded coconut spice glaze for the buns. I am not going to add the cross after baking the buns. I am going to do it the traditional way and making a flour mixture but the flour mixture won't be like a plain flour mixture I am going to add my pumpkin spice mixture that I made to the flour mixture so it will have a nice brownish and spicy flavor in it to complement the glaze and also the spice that would be in the buns so come on let's go up in the kitchen and let's put these fresh soft delicious buns together with our coconut spice glaze there we go these are the ingredients that we are going to use to make this and i will explain them as we go along in this video so firstly we are going to use some flour i'm going to use four cups of flour and we're going to sift the four cups of flour so this is we're going to weigh out our flour here and we have our little trusty dandy little scale simply our flour we are now going to add the rest of the ingredients like the spice but before we add the spice we are now going to prep the yeast mixture so let's get started with the yeast mixture before we put in the rest of dry ingredients to the sifted flour. For my container, I'm going to add one cup of full cream of milk. Add one packet of yeast, that is one tablespoon of yeast. So I add my yeast and we're going to add a quarter cup of, you could use granulated sugar, you can use brown sugar. So I am using brown sugar. The spice that I am going to use in this recipe would be my pumpkin spice blend. This is on my YouTube channel. It is in my um, pumpkin spice latte. So you can check that out. I will leave the link above in the cards and also in the end screen. So I'm adding some of this spice mix. Or if you don't want to use any type of spice mix, so once you have the pie spice, you can use that. Or you could just add some cinnamon, also add some nutmeg, uh, whatever you prefer. But I am using my mixture of my pumpkin spice blend. Because I want to really taste all the spice in this recipe. So I'm adding that spice. And we're going to give it a mix. And then I 
we're going to add some of this lemon extract if you have lime zest or lemon zest orange zest you can also add it I've added like a teaspoon and for my butter one third of a cup of butter to this right make sure your butter is at room temperature we're going to also add one egg And we are going to mix this up, incorporate the eggs and the butter. But you know what, I think I'm going to add some more of the spice. So all together, it will be a full tablespoon. Yeah. So once all of that is incorporated, we're going to get our yeast mixture that we have rest in there and we're going to add that yeast mixture to this so let's go to that but before we add the yeast mixture i had some seedless dates i decided to add these seedless dates i gave it a rough chop so we will add those seedless dates to this recipe now let's go and add our proof yeast And we're going to knead this till we get a nice smooth dough. I stretched this dough for three minutes or until it is no longer sticking to my hand. My bread is raising to the next hour. We're going to make a glaze. We're going to make a coconut spice glaze for our buds. So let's get started on our coconut spice glaze, meaning I am using some shredded coconut that I have here and the spice that I'm using is a, we are using a cinnamon bay leaf a nutmeg and some orange peel we're going to place all of those items into our pot and let that come to a boil with one cup of water and one cup of sugar so let's get cracking on our coconut spice glaze I am going to use equal parts water, sugar, and shredded coconut, that is one cup each, and then the orange peel, the nutmeg, the bay leaf, and the cinnamon, bring it to a boil. So now uh, let's empty out our glaze, but from the glaze, we want to remove the spice and we want to move the bay leaf okay now that we want to use the coconut right so we want to use everything in this so we're gonna just leave it as i'm gonna let that cool down while we continue to shape our ball but before we get there let me just show you the consistency of my shredded coconut spice glaze this coconut add a lot of flavor to this and it was really enjoyable just enough sugar just enough of everything so one hour later my dough has properly well risen and i'm going to just punch it a little bit and i'm going to place it on my lightly floured counter and i am going to cut my dough into 16 pieces 
I cut the dough in half, then I separated it in four, and I cut each portion into four pieces. Therefore, we have 16 pieces, and I am going to form a ball. Not by kneading it in, but I'm taking up just the ends, bringing it in towards me, and then going in a circular motion, rest it down on the counter, put your hand in a cuff-like motion, and go in a circular motion. Hope I explain that well. And I am going to do that until I form all of my buns and place them into my lightly greased baking pan. Just in case you missed it, I'm doing it again. You're pulling just the ends, bring it in towards you, go in a circular motion, then you place it on the counter. Put your hand in a cup-like position and go in a circular motion and there you will form your ball. You could even rest it on the counter, you could rest in your palm and also do that same method and you will still form your ball, okay? So now all my buns has been shaped. I'm going to let that rest for 20 minutes. As glaze is finished and it is cooling, so now as we mentioned, we are going to bake on the, the cross the traditional way and not add like an ice thin cross. So to that, let's get into the ingredients for this. For this, we are going to use my spice blend, sugar, flour and water. All of the measurements for all the ingredients that is in here. The mixture for the cross would be in the description and also at the side of this clip. So now we're going to add some water, one fourth of a cup of water, one, one fourth of a teaspoon of my spice blend. We add half cup of flour and one and a half tablespoon of sugar white or brown sugar so now we're going to add this to bring everything together and when this is done you're going to add it to a piping bag i'm using it as a block bag and i have one of those. So we're going to use that to bring everything, to place it onto the buns before putting it in the oven. So when we're ready to lay our flour mixture on our buns, I will come back. So by the time I was finished making the mixture for the cross, the buns was finished resting. I placed it on the buns and put the buns to cook in the oven. For 20 minutes, 20 minutes later, I am going to add the glaze and then once it is glazed properly, I am going to add pieces of shredded coconut. You now you can see that the cross isn't as bright as you would have it when it is baked on with a plain white flour mixture. And it's that way because I use the spice in the flour mixture when I'm baking it in. Now you don't have to do it as I did. You can do it as we should at the end love to do, just put an ice and cross. But this is the traditional way and I wanted to make it that way. So this is what it looks like. It's just so soft and delicious. And you all realize I didn't add any sugar in the mixing of the buns. I didn't add any sugar there. The only time the sugar was added was when we were making the yeast mixture, the cross, and also the glaze that's where the sugar is in this buns and look at how soft this buns is i am not exaggerating because i make it this buns is really soft and full of flavor and it is not overly sweet because in the mixing of the dough itself has no sugar but ladies and gentlemen give this buns a try and i'm sure you're going to enjoy it and before i leave let me just leave you with some very tempting delicious mouth watering nose harassing snippets of my very enjoyable buns happy easter everybody 
be safe in this quarantine situation. Bake with the kids, cook with the kids, play with the kids, with the family. Spend more family time. God bless. Take care. So today I was feeling tater pie. Pie is not something I would eat too regular. I just 